more with expressions with rational exponents. What are we doing? We're simplifying or not. So, let's go over here. Oh, boy. If I'm taking a look at that, man, I see that that's the square root of 5. And then I only have 1 5. Can I go any further? I can't, because there aren't any pairs. You know? And on to the next one. This guy, boom, we see that's going to be 1 over 4m to the 7 fourths. I could have equivalently written it as 1 over 4m to the 7 fourths because that negative is going to get you the reciprocal. But then if I make it rain, make it rain, I'm going to get something that looks like that. So that looks like 1 over. Ooh. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. 7 fourths, that's uh, 1 and 3 fourths. So that's 4m to the 1 and 3 fourths. If I was to write it as a mixed number, that means that there's a whole part. So one of those gets to come out. Yeah. So that's 1 over a 4m. And then that's the fourth root of 4m to the third. Oh, that simplifies even more, doesn't it? Ah! Why? Because there's twos in there. Oh, I really should have worked this example ahead of time. This is one over four m. Now in there, that's a two and a two. With that three, that means that there's two and two and two and two, because there's more of those copies in there. So every four, one gets to come out. So there's four, one gets to come out. So a two gets to come out. And then I still have the square root of two times two is four m to the third. Yee! So let's finish this up straight. This is 8 great m times the, whoa, there should be a 4 in the kink, fourth root of 4m to the third, but that's all in the denominator. Ouch. Brutal. Hopefully this next one isn't so hard. So I'm looking at this next one over here. So then, there's 12 threes. Let's use that trick from over there. I could write out three times 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 three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Aha! And then, since there's a two in the kink for every pair, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of them get to come out, so that's three to the six, or we can see that that's a two in the kink, and we can convert that guy to three and 12 halves, which is three to the six power, which is beyond my computational abilities. That's three times three times three times three times three times three times three. I don't know how your computer wants it. Check, and that's how the computer gets it. I get it over here. Boom. Same trick. This is x to the 8 over 2, which is, which is, which is x to the 4. Sure. Now, if the directions didn't say that assume the variables are positive, then that would be the absolute value of x to the 4th. <laughs> okay. But since it said the variables are positive, box and flower. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room over here. So, uh, yeah, put some spots on it. Yeah, we're going to cheat out this next example. Um, do cheetahs have spots? That's dub to the three fourths divided by dub to the three fifths. What am I going to do? Oh, if I have the same base, if I have the same base and I'm dividing, I'm going to subtract their exponents. That's dub to the three fourths minus three fifths. Now, I got to subtract fractions, so I need a common denominator. That's w to the, wait for it, common denominator is 20, so 5 over 5. That's 15 over 20. That's the same as 3 fourths minus 4. That's 12 over 
Five? No. Twenty. Make that a deuce. Twenty. Now that I caught a common denominator, I can subtract their exponents. So that's dub to the three twentieths. Now I know that's a lot, but they gave it to me as roots. Let's put it back in roots. Root, root. So then that's the twentieth root of w to the third. Is it? That's two. It's, it's over here. Boom. That's the twentieth root of w to the third. And I heard we're done. <laughs> Ooh. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.